Hello and welcome back to Here We Tow. Today we're at Salop Leisure near Shrewsbury where we're going to be looking at this. It's the Coachman 520 VIP. I am taking COVID precautions since I will be wearing a mask and I have sanitised my hands. So what do we need to know about the Coachman 520 VIP? Well, with Coachman's, we have three levels. We've got the Arcadia at entry, then the VIP, and then the Laser. So this is laying somewhere in the middle of those ranges. This caravan itself is seven metres long. It's three berth. It's seven feet and seven inches wide. And it's going to weigh in with an MTPLM of 1,544 kilograms. So it's going to give you a payload of 142 kilograms which is certainly more than enough for most people. As we can see, the 520 is on the single axle. It has 14 inch alloy wheels. We'll start at the front. The front of the coachman, we've got the three windows and we do have the front lockers. All the coachmans have the two lockers at the front and this is also where you're going to find the gas. As we can see, we've got the Alco hitch. Now the nose weight on here does have a maximum of 100 kilograms. That's quite heavy for a three berth, seven metre caravan. We've got ATC as well on here, fitted as standard. As we head round the off side, we've got the 2021 decals. We have here the vent for the Alder. Now, Coachman's across all three of their ranges have Alder wet central heating as standard and yes it does come with the pink fluid which only requires changing every five years. We've got here the whale pump for the water, we've got a locker, a couple of windows and then at the back we can see we've got our toilet cassette and flush so that indicates we've got a rear washroom. What we'll do is we'll head around the back now and just have a look at the back for 2021. The back of the Coachman for 2021, it remains plain and white, but we do see here the new logo and there is a little bit of history behind the logo going back to the future. We'll come round now to the near side and see what services we've got here. As we come down on the near side, obviously we've got the entry door. It's all one piece, but we do have the window here and inside we do have a bin as well. We come down further, we've got the window into the kitchen and then we've got the Dometic vent so this indicates that the fridge freezer is going to be here on the near side and we finish off the front with another locker and then we've also got a barbecue point and the electric point so if you are having an awning obviously you just want to consider where these various points are so that's the exterior of the 520 it's a nice looking compact three berth caravan let's venture in and find out more about what's on the inside. So the door's held open with the strong magnets that coachmen use, the bin that I spoke about, and we do have fly screens on the doors and the windows. We'll venture in and have a closer look. Unfortunately, we're not hooked up to electric, so the lighting is what we'll have to do make, make do with today. Let's go inside. So inside the VIP 520, it feels really spacious. This caravan doesn't have a fixed bed. What it does have is in the lounge area, we've either got two six foot long singles or it makes up into one large single bed, which is probably going to be king to queen size. The third berth is on the dinette, which is just a little bit further back, which I'll show you shortly. So up front, the lounge area of the coachman, what are we going to get? We've got nice concertina blinds and curtains. The fabric on this sofa feels really heavy duty. I do really like this. I'd imagine this will last absolutely years. And the colour scheme, not bad. I describe that as mink, but I'm no expert. So the colours are a nice calm setup. I do like them. Up front here, now one thing I've seen that I do like is we've got a fast charge point for mobile phones up there. We've got a number of plug sockets and we've also got several lights for the lights that are dotted around. We've got the drawers and the table that'll pull out here to eat on, or there is a larger fixed table if you want to bring that out to eat in the lounge area. And that's situated in the bathroom at the moment. 
up ahead we've got that large coachman sunroof that lets in plenty of light and then obviously the three windows here. We do have a radio up ahead and then there's various storage compartments as well and these spotlights of which there's four so it's a well illuminated space on an evening. We'll venture into the kitchen next. So the kitchen of the 520 is on the near side of the caravan and there's absolutely loads of worktop space because as I say there's no fixed bed we're gaining space here in the kitchen which is very important to a lot of people. There's also an additional flap here which does fold down could be a good place to keep a coffee machine but be careful not to catch it. We've got two plug sockets the splashback I really like this and wait till you see the bathroom I'm particularly impressed with that but this is a lovely marble effect and then we've got almost a Corian effect top so all together these colours do work very well. There's plenty of storage up ahead depending on what you want to put in here you've got room for plates and bowls and obviously breakfast cereals and things like that. There is a plug socket up in this cupboard and that's going to power the Russell Hobbs microwave which is at a reasonable height. The only thing you'd have to be careful of is if you're using the microwave and you've got things on the gas burner or hob you would just have to be mindful of that from a health and safety point of view. Under here in the Thetford hob we've got three gas rings and one electric which is always good because it offers something for everything whether you're off grid or you're on electric hookup and then underneath we find we've got the grill and the oven and again they're at a good height as well you're not too low on the floor so I do like that setup a nice Thetford oven there. We have three drawers under the sink so plenty of room for our cutlery and various bits as well. The sink I do like this tap very nice finish and again a good size sink as well with the cover. The fridge freezer now obviously this is a two to three berth it's probably going to be more likely for couples so we don't find a huge fridge freezer we do have the Dometic though and as you see there's plenty of room in there certainly for a couple for a few days this is the one that has the feature that opens both sides which is becoming ever more popular so that's always good for me the only compromise really in the caravan is probably the size of that fridge freezer as you know I like a big one but absolutely nothing wrong with that at all opposite the very well equipped kitchen we're going to find this dinette now over here first of all is where we're going to find the television stand now I do see what could well be there a bracket possibly so it might be that you can mount your television there or you could have it here on a stand so you can watch it either in the lounge or on this dinette and we've also got some USBs here two plug sockets and then we've got the 12 volt and the television aerial so this is going to be your television point we come then to this dinette and again a good size and this will change into a single bed for an evening if you've got that third person or maybe even a grandchild and we've got a nice table as well to go with it and then we've got these three overhead storage compartments they're good size although they're not overly deep I'd say they're probably maybe only six or so well, maybe seven inches in depth but they've certainly good in terms of height so plenty of room in there for various bits that you might have with you and that one does have a shelf as well so this is your living area that I've covered here what we're going to do now is venture further back now it's worth just noting that as you come in through the door this is where you're going to find your coachman control panel and you're also going to find the um, panel for the Alda wet central heating so as standard in most caravans it's going to be in the door as you come in now back here is where we're going to find this bathroom now when I first poked my head in here I was pleasantly surprised and you'll see why so we've got a nice door we've got the light switches we've got um, a plug socket here now this could be useful if as a lady you're wanting to use a hairdryer um, or hair straighteners because you do have the addition of a mirror there so I'd imagine that's quite possibly 
why that's been put there. And then there's a, just a little bit of storage as you come in next to the door. So that's probably a good feature that's going to uh, please many people. Now, as I say, this is where we go into the bathroom and this is absolutely phenomenal. As you can see straight away going in, you've got a huge mirror there and then the marble effects splash back. Um, that, I say, that, that was a real winner for me. We've also then got a nice sink. It's got a similar tap there as we've got in the kitchen, so we're keeping that theme. And then there's storage underneath. When we go in, you're going to see the shower cubicle. Now, that's over on the near side. It's probably one of the largest shower cubicles I think I've probably seen on a caravan. And then in the corner here is where we're going to find the Thetford toilet, a heated towel rail, and the cupboard for the Alder wet central heating tank and also wardrobe space. So what we'll do is we'll just have a closer look at some of those things I've mentioned. So in the far corner of the bathroom, we can see a little bit of cupboard space and then we come down to the white heated towel rail and then we see the Thetford toilet. To the left in the corner is where we're going to find the wardrobe that I mentioned and the Alder wet central heating. There is obviously a toilet roll holder in this room as well as this huge mirror. There's hooks for towels. There's great storage underneath which we'll just show you now. Under there we're going to find the two shelving units under the basin. The basin's white, but exterior, it's got like a gray, almost a gray color to it. So that's the storage in the bathroom. And then over to the right, we will move around and we can have a look at the shower. Now, as I say, this shower cubicle, it's got a huge screen, so it's going to be nice and watertight, but the cubicle size itself is absolutely huge. It's almost, well, I don't think I've ever seen a shower quite so big. So that'll be absolutely fantastic, especially at the moment when people are using onboard facilities more than they are the facilities on site. So we'll come out of the bathroom and just have a little summary. So there we have it, the Coachman VIP 520, three berth caravan, seven meters long, seven feet and seven inches wide, and coming in at 28,380 pounds. Quite a hefty price tag, but I must say the build quality seems very good. Hopefully you've enjoyed the look around one of these first 2021 model Coachman caravans. All I have to say is, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.